necessary. <sighs> hey, bro, I'm in to ask you, bro. So, what's good? Was it last year? Earlier last year, or earlier this year, there was one point where you was like. <laughs> <laughs> Where you was like, bro, I lost the meaning of words, bro. And I oh, don't yeah. really know how to use my words, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a spirit night, bro. If you recall. I am. Shit. Has that shit changed any? Uh, no. So it's actually a mixture of what well, my words and Joey's words. My my thoughts that night was that. Cause I, I was the first time I could really understand niggas without talking. Like, I don't know if you remember it, bro. That shit was extremely rare. But we wasn't really saying too many words at one point, bro. And it was just like, it was just clear that we understood what each of us were thinking about. And I started bringing up this point. I was like, see, man. And that's why I feel like I've been kind of quiet lately. Because I've been kind of feeling like you don't always need to use words to understand somebody. And so, but that's when um, Joey was making that point. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna put this on." That nigga hit me with a pistol. Yeah, I'm pissed. I'm going crazy. Is this siphon? Uh, no. These are the walls. One on top. Hit him, white. Hit the yeah, I did too. Yeah, yeah nigga on top definitely got sprayed. There's something on the ground too. Oh, What's this bitch ass there. thing on the ground? Are they fighting? Yeah, in there. Oh, man. Get him 31 white. Got him. I have a med kit. We need. It's two. Give me one back. Thanks. <clears throat> but yeah, I was saying, um, so my point was not that, like, my skill with words had kind of decreased whether I believe that or not it was more so I was like bruh we as people bruh should have should evolve from that bruh I was like bruh why do we still need words to understand each other when words can be so misconstrued and misinterpreted and I'm like we should be on the spiritual level of understanding where we may not be completely dead silent like that's thinking like very far ahead but I'm like we have a connection a very fundamental connection with everybody bruh and you know, if you think of certain things like empathy, bro, how, how if we see somebody in pain, we can understand what they're feeling, bro. Even if we may not have gone through it ourselves. So, I was just really getting to that deeper, like, train, school of thought that, like, bro, we should just be able to understand each other, like, spiritually, mentally, whatever it needs to say. Then that's when uh, Rose was like, yeah, bro, you got a point, bro, but I do feel like, bro, there was a point in time where you were really good with words. And he was alluding to, like, some of it was back when we used to rap and shit. He was like, bro, this nigga Juan always used to be fine with words, bro, and I used to say that. And I feel like at some point you lost your weight with them. And I was like, you know, I never really considered that, like, specifically. I, I did think about, like, their importance as having less value. But it, I never thought that, like, it was connected to that. So it's kind of like two-pronged, bro, if that makes sense. And so, but yeah, that was definitely the spirit night, and that was when I was like, bro, nigga, I don't even have to speak right now, bro. I, I can feel what y'all niggas are feeling and what y'all trying to express. And that's why I was like so impressed when you did come up with those words. I don't know if you remember, I told you later on that night, I was like, bro, you said some words to me, bro, that were so powerful. 
something about how like when you were looking at me because I had the K6 shirt on, you couldn't really see. That shit was rare. <laughs> that was a rare uh, moment, man. I wish y'all niggas to see what I saw that night. <laughs> Damn. That's the thing, bro. I really feel like I, I understood both of y'all's experiences, bro. Because honestly, we were having a shared experience. At that moment, we were all going through the same thing. You feel me? But it's just like different perspectives isn't the word. And and it's it gets back to what a lot of niggas think about life in general, bro. Which is that it's all one experience, bro. We're all part of the same big ass thing, bro. We just have like different there's like different dimensions to it but it's like all every everybody and everything and every fucking atom or fucking molecule is all part of one big thing bro you know what I mean but we just have consciousness bro each of the moving parts have consciousness which is a great thing but over time leads each of those moving parts to believe that they are different from each other, that they are separate from each other, not different, because we are different from each other, We're not separate. So I was thinking that night, I was like, bruh, if that's true, if we all are from the same thing, why do we have to come up with this man-made language thing to understand each other? If we all come from the same source, bruh, there's a basic fundamental level of understanding we should have. So, but I mean, words are far, bro. But I did stop using them shits, and I've always been a nigga to talk less, just in general. Only when I really get around y'all niggas where I'm comfortable, I just talk a lot more. And y'all niggas be like, bro, shut up. <laughs> just in general, when I was younger, bro, I used to be so quiet. I used to be so quiet, bro. And I promise you, I still believe this to this day. I barely use my voice to the point where I feel like I don't have that much power in my voice. Like, actually. Like when it comes, and I, it comes, and notice this in settings like at parties and stuff, or like if I'm at a club or anywhere with a lot of loud music, I can't project my voice past a certain le like level to where you won't really be able to hear me, bro. A lot of niggas be like, huh, what, what, are, you, what are you saying, bro? Even if I'm not at a party or a club, bro. But I genuinely believe it was from a lack of using my voice, bro. So like in my developing years, bro. Like I can't really yell like that. The loudest I yell sounds pathetic. So, I just always been quiet, bro, and always just thought and felt shit, bro. And that night, I was like, yo, this shit kind of confirms a lot of what I've been thinking. Which is that I don't really need words to communicate. But he's like, bro, you gotta understand, everybody not at that level, you know, and niggas can't all just communicate that way. Like, I, I understand you. That's what Rose was saying. Like, me, you, I, I get that. You gotta understand, bro, the vast majority of people, bro, they need words, bro. And then kind of goes to like I learned, started learning that shit more and more later. Like with my girl, bro, we talked about uh, love languages, bro. She put me on the love languages, and she was like, one of hers are love languages are words of affirmation, and that she needs to be reminded, you know, with the language arts, bro, of her partner's love at times, bro. And I've taken that into a lot of consideration. I do a lot more talking now when I'm with her. And expressing how I feel about her and stuff, so you understand it still holds weight, bruh, in this world. So I can't just like completely ignore that shit. Sing along, bruh. This nigga on.